I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, finally got my hands on this beer and I wanted to put a review up of it. Um, this is from Lagunitas, their 2016 one hitter series. This is their High Westified Imperial Stout. 12.2% uh, alcohol by volume uh, Imperial Coffee Stout aged in uh, High West rye barrels. Don't know where those, I think that's like Utah or something. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and I don't know what coffee they used for this. And it didn't say, it doesn't say anywhere on the bottle. But yeah, 12.2% uh, big, big beer. Looking forward to this one. Um, bunch of reviews have already been up. I don't know why it took us so long in San Diego to get these beers. Um, I finally saw it today, so I grabbed it on my way home from work and wanted to get into it. I just had um, Bourbon County coffee, and I absolutely love that beer. So I've seen a bunch of killer reviews on this beer, so I'm expecting really, really good things. So let's get into it. No need to uh, blabber on about it. It actually pours pretty light. It's not that crazy. Um, like this, whoa, I can smell that. I mean, it's pitch black in the glass, but it poured uh, it poured pretty light. Finger of just a mocha khaki, just fluffy, fluffy head. 12.2% um, when we swirl it. Yeah, there's alcohol legs running down the glass. It looks absolutely killer. So I could smell that as soon as I opened it. It smelled like booze. So <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, shove our nose in it. Yeah, tons and tons of whiskey. Um, a killer chocolate uh, note. I don't smell coffee very much right now. So I grabbed this, the place that I got it at. By the way, $12.99 for a six pack of this. That's fucking insane. Um, it was in the refrigerated section, so I grabbed it and then it took me about, I don't know, 25 minutes to get home. So it's been sitting, it was sitting in my truck and then I just put it um, on the table out here in the preparation to drink it. So it's, uh, there's just a little chill on it, but I'm not getting, I'm not getting much coffee. But it is, it's whiskey, it's fudgy, it's chocolatey. It's like woody, oaky, like that kind of barrel thing. There might be a little sweetness in there. Like, I don't know if it's like vanilla sweetness. But yeah, I'm not getting any coffee. There's like a little bit of like a roasted kind of a malt thing. But yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll get it on the taste, so cheers. Wow, that is absolutely fantastic. Um, there is coffee, kind of like that dark fruity thing that I get a lot of times out of coffee beers. Um, I will say just first impressions, it's a little, it's a tad thin for being 12% Imperial Stout. But it's fantastic, super chocolatey and tons and tons of whiskey in this bottle. Um, like I said, right up front, it's, it's chocolate. And then as across your palate, you get an awesome, like kind of, it's not quite bitter, but it's, I don't know if it's like a whiskey kind of a bite that just kind of bites at the, the middle of your tongue. Um, it is, it's just chocolate from front to back. It's awesome. And on the finish, you're getting that roasted kind of malt, um, dark fruits, which I'm, I'm, um, guessing is from the coffee. It's so this bottle is not it's not like a coffee bomb. It, I don't get like that roasted coffee. It's more like a roasted malty thing. This tastes to me similar, just not as like crazy fudgy and decadent and, and desserty as Bourbon County does. This is absolutely killer though, especially, I mean, you get a six pack of this in 12 ounce bottles. I like the 12 ounce bottle format, by the way, because I got shit I have to do today. So um, hopefully I'm not absolutely hammered after this. If, if, if it's not like in a 22 ounce, I think they did 22 ounce bombers last year. Um, even the Bourbon County, the 500 uh, milliliter bottles, it's, when you're drinking that big of a beer in that size, you get hammered drinking that. Yeah, more of that dark fruits coming out, um, like plummy kind of figgy raisin, which I am, I'm guessing it's from the coffee. I kind of wish there was more, like Bourbon County coffee was insanely coffee forward. And then we just had um, Imperial coffee and cigarettes. That was a coffee bomb. It, I mean, unless these bottles, I feel like people have been drinking these for a couple weeks already. So I don't know if the coffee kind of is fading already. I don't think it would fade that quick, but it's not, I, I was hoping that this was going to be like a crazy, like Java espresso coffee thing. And it's not, it's super chocolatey. Um, 
and there's tons and tons of whiskey. It's it's not hot though. It's not burning going down. You just you can taste it on your tongue. But I do. I dig the the like the dark fruits that's on the finish of that. Really, really good. Um, is this Bourbon County coffee level? No. Is this Bourbon County stout level? No. Both of those beers were hundreds for me. So um, I'm thinking like 97 for this one. It's world class. And the fact that you can get this in 12 ounce six packs for 12.99, uh, that I mean, it sh I should probably grade it higher than that. But I'm going to go 97 on this one. Really, really good stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to kind of seeing how these hang out and age over the next month or two. I bought two six packs, so wanted to, <clears throat> wanted to have them. I wasn't sure if I was going to see it again. It took so long to get them here. So I grabbed both the six packs that were at the store. But yeah, that's Lagunitas High Westified Imperial Coffee Stout. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Maybe a couple weeks ago, it was way more coffee forward. Um, definitely not as much coffee in this bottle. And maybe there's bottle variation there. I might get more coffee in the other bottles. But that kind of desserty chocolate. It's like chocolate cake with dark fruit. It's fucking awesome. And I love that whiskey kind of oaky. There is. There's like a sweet kind of vanilla thing on the finish too, which is really, really good. So yeah, if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.